I know that everybody can write a good bug report, right? Everybody knows how to write bug reports. Everybody's an expert on writing bug reports. Well, when I see bug reports like this one here, I freak out. I mean, how, what, where, why? If you would get such a bug report or if you would write such a bug report, what are your expectations? Nobody can start anything with this. And I've seen this happen. I've seen this happen recently. And this is one of the reasons why I'm making this video. So I'm going to show you or present to you five tips with common sense. Um, five tips that I took from an article of a friend of mine. And I'm going to show you the article at the end. So if you follow these tips plus what he also has there, then there's no way your bug reports will be bad. So the first tip, the title. The description should be clear. You cannot write something like checkout error. Yeah, you need to be more to the point. You need to be able to understand from the description what's, what you are going to see in the bug. So, for example, if you say unexpected exception thrown upon clicking the checkout button in Firefox, this is clear. This gives you context, you know where to look for, and you know who from the developer team can actually start to have a look at it. Steps to reproduce. I know this is, again, something you all do. I totally agree. Everybody does steps does uh, steps to reproduce include steps in the description however the goal usually is to have the steps made in such a way that a person that they are easy to follow also for a person that is not in a lot of depth in the pro that not, doesn't have a lot of depth in the project doesn't have to be familiar with the project as long as you write the steps in a clear way they will be helpful also for you in the future when you need to retest it, when you need to recheck such a bug in, in the future. Screenshots. I know it's clear, and again, everybody knows, yeah, you need to add screenshots, but what screenshots? I mean, you don't need to shoot it like this, yeah? You need to have at least one screenshot of the defect, if not multiple. So you, it's, it's better to have a screenshot that contains the URL, it's better to have screenshots uh, from the developer tools. If you have an, if you do doing a click and nothing happens, then most possibly you will have a console error, which would be good to add to the ticket. Actual and expected results. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Obvious. You would say right now. Yes, it is obvious, but I've seen tickets where it says, um, if I, um, if I'm on the page. It doesn't look good. <clears throat> okay, that's a little bit subjective. Um, you need to write what. Because if you write something like this, crashes and doesn't crash. Yeah, okay. But you need to write clear expectations. Software version. This is something which I often see ignored. I'm, not, I'm talking about a couple of things here. On the one hand, the version of your browser that you're testing, the name of the browser that you're testing, the operating system may be like Windows or the operating system if you're doing mobile, so if we have a specific version on, of Android, a specific version of Apple uh, that you're testing, um, but also the code version. If you do not have this, then go to your project manager or uh, developer lead and have them inform you which exact version of your code you're testing. This is really helpful trying to isolate where the bug came from. Now, these were five tips, five common sense tips. However, as I said, there are a couple more options in the original article. And I'm going to show you the original article. So on the website, Juniors Learn to Code, my friend Mirza wrote an article about how can we make our bug reports more understandable. And it has way more context that I presented to you. It has a couple 
more um, options or more points. Like you see here, a few um, of them I, I presented to you, but do go over the article, do go over everything that he has here. And he likes to end in a really positive manner. So in, at the end of the day, we need to keep everything professional. I know we are all professionals. I know we are all, we all want to do our best in, in the job, but sometimes going back to the basics, helps us because we tend to forget we tend to we have pressure we have time issues and have a look at the article have a look at the article i'm pretty sure if you follow everything that is in the article you will have no issues with your bug reports everybody will understand them you will be more happy it will bring a positive and a better attitude to the team as always thank you for watching the video and i will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye